why I stopped to be digital nomad. My name is Victoria, I'm French, so sorry for my English. I'm not like an English native speaker, but I want to share and spread this message in English. When I talk about digital nomad, it's like you are working and traveling at the same time. So I'm now not living in my home country, which is France, but I'm not moving. I have my base in Brazil. It's been like four years that I'm in Brazil and I'm gonna stay there for a long time. I stopped like, traveling and working because the first thing for me that was really, really difficult, it's actually stressful. I know for some people it's gonna be like, what? Is it stressful? What do you mean it's stressful to travel? and work and i mean like living your best life and be under like a coconut tree and working this is so wrong because i guess so many people are selling the idea that you are working and everything is fine and like no it's absolutely not true it is super stressful because you need to plan everything and you need to be an organized person that plan everything especially if you're gonna go into more remote places it's stressful because you're gonna go into a country which has a new culture a new uh, language and you need to like adapt yourself for most of the digital nomad hub yes it's fine go to bali it's fine for example the things with bali is like it's easy you're gonna go in bali and everything is creative for digital nomad. There are lots of co-working places, there are lots of free Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi is good, it's super easy to find a scooter, everything is made for that. Second thing that makes me like stop to be a digital nomad is like it's really difficult to have deep connection. It's super easy to have a lot of connections and be like, oh yeah, I have so many friends and you have this feeling like, oh my god, yes, I'm with a lot of people, it's amazing because you meet people all the time. It's crazy. If you are in a digital nomad spot or a digital nomad city, it's super easy to meet people. It's, it's, I didn't find it difficult. What I find difficult though is that to have deep connection. Openly you are just like, oh yeah, nice, I met so many people. And so you are stimulated, you are stimulated, you are stimulated. The social bond stimulates you really, but at the same time, you're just like, but I don't really know this person. And third point, we are literally out of the reality. We are living in a completely different reality. I didn't notice it until I fall in love with someone that has, of course, a different, totally different reality. And we crash. And he was like, your reality is not the reality, your reality. I mean, yes, it's my reality, but it's absolutely not the reality of most of the people on this earth. I felt connected because I'm always connected. I'm always on my computer because this is my work, this is what I do. I'm always connected. I see the news. I'm like, but I was disconnected from the the world that was actually here. Saying it is really weird. Actually, I never talk about that, but it was was really weird. Lost touch, I guess, of what is the reality because you are on your own reality which is a bubble. Few people are digital nomads, few people are like traveling and working. When I realized that, I was like, whoa. I was out of this reality, I was in this digital nomad reality. They are a huge, huge, enormous gap, most of the time, between the local and us. It's, this is like crazy. I felt that, wow was going in the wrong way. The topic that I saw on a lot of like social media about the kind of digital nomad uh, slash neo-colonialism uh, and I found it interesting because when you step back of this reality of digital nomad and you realize how it affected some places, for example Bali, or I heard a lot too about Mexico, never been there, but I heard that some people are getting really pissed off, local people, and that starts to be like, like, there's gentrification issues. You start to ask yourself a little bit, is it wrong what I'm doing? Is it something that is actually good or not? When I saw how it's affecting some places, doesn't feel right. Something to 
to, I guess, that we need to think about how much it affects the local people. We need to think about, but the government of each country needs to think about. This is why I'm not anymore a digital nomad. That's it. If you have questions, do not hesitate. If you want to debate about this topic, because I'm really open about the conversation and I think we need to talk about that because after the pandemic this like most of the people were like oh my god yes we can have this possibility Mwah. kisses take care of you